Hi guys, welcome to another beer review, and uh, today I've got a beer that I'm looking forward to. Um, it is one that I uh, have tried reviewing before, but wasn't happy with the video, so it's not going to be, oh wow, this is a surprise beer to me. Um, but, take two of this version of the video as well. Um, I mean, I could just wait, because I've got one can of it left, but I wanted to do a review now. And uh, yeah, so don't worry, I've not smelt the beer, I've not tasted the beer yet, I've just poured the beer in the glass. And uh, we're going over to a style that I think is a rarely understated style here in the UK. And um, it's one of those things in it where you rarely don't see it too much, or you might be in an area where it's a very popular style. And uh, yes, I do realise that with my hair growing out, it makes me look like a 14-year-old, a very fat and ugly 14-year-old. But... Um, yeah, apologies if I'm brushing my hair over to the side. Um, yeah, I've just seen the Reading and Leeds festival line up and it's, uh, yeah, it's all the, you know, the side comb fringes and black eyeliner. What the hell has happened to that music festival, man? It's like, it's not Reading, Leeds and Reading's emo fest. Uh, that's, that's a classic joke there for you. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, what the, what the fuck is happening to music? What are we, what 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 is going on? I don't know, but um yeah anyway so this is a style that um I'm I've, I've become really a big fan of, and uh, for the past couple of months I've been uh, nearly every Friday meeting up with my my dad and my younger brother, going to the local labour slash social club, and uh, enjoying a good afternoon of drinking darts and snooker. And it's become a little bit of tradition for me to just stick to the milds um, because I've rarely fallen in love with that style. I really, really have. It's really cheap compared to what else is available most of the time. Uh, perfect session of beer most of the time as well. Even the more macro stuff is tasty, I find. And uh, yeah, I can't think of a better beer to complement like a Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon with the lads. I hate saying shit like that. It just does not suit me. But um, yeah, so we're going over to Thwaites. I'd rather not look at a can of their Champion Dark Mild. Clocked in at 3.2%. Roasted and bittersweet, it's described as. So Champion Dark Mild. Twice winner of the Champion Beer of Britain. Now available in can. So was it just called Dark Mild before they won the awards? I'm not too sure. Serve cool, not cold. And uh, yeah, forged a 40 mil can, brewed in the UK by, well, England by Daniel Thwaites in Blackburn. Not sure if Thwaites are owned by anyone. Um, maybe someone like Mark, I don't know. Because um, I'm sure there's like, they've got chains of pubs. I'm not too sure. It'll be in the, the title of the video if they have been taken over. But uh, yeah, Champion Dark Mild. Really nice looking can. Simple, forged 40 mil can. And the uh, beer is already in the glass, like I said. Uh, when I poured it, I mean, you'll see it when I pour the rest in. It'll reinforce, hopefully. Um, slightly khaki-looking head. Maybe beige. Beige is a better descriptor. And, uh, yeah, when you hold it up to the light, lovely ruby red tones in there. And then there's some nice oakiness about it as well. Uh, crystal clear, for the most part. Uh, nice slow carbonation. And uh, yeah, it looks bold and beautiful, sort of like me. Anyway, let's see what we get on the nose. Yeah, you get that roastiness coming through. Like that slight maple syrup almost. You know, it's not like really vibrant sweetness. It's got that sort of like cop-out alert brown sweetness. Like a muscovado sugar or like a treacle, that sort of thing. Definitely get some oatmeal in there, like a nice porridge with some sugar sprinkled on top, then put back in the microwave so it gets that nice crust. A little bit of chocolate in there. Almost has like chocolate fudge characters to it. Maybe some slight like red berry, dark sort of cherry berry type fruits. Yeah, really nice and bold smelling beer by all accounts. Very subtle smokiness, a little bit of muskiness in there as well. 
very nice and rounded, but a lot more fragrant on the nose than you would expect. Anyway, let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. That's really nice. It's nice and simple. A lot more roasty, I find, on the uh, on the taste as opposed to the aroma, even though you did get that sense of roastiness in there. Lovely bitterness on the back end, not too lingering. It's got a slight spicy earthiness to it as well. For a 3.2% beer, the body's a lot bolder than you would expect, but it's still not a, a bold body by any stretch. This one of those things where I think when you have it on like cask beers like this, just for just that much better. And the, the stuff that's in a can, if it's not like nitro, I mean, do you get mild nitro? Do, to me, it seems like a star that would really benefit from having that nitro in there just to make it a bit more creamier and smoother. So when you get in like some thinner can, just this is my impression from my uh, very, very limited um, experience, of course. Always, always bear that in mind when I make these claims, by the way. And, uh, you know, so... If this was on tap, I'd imagine this to be a little bit more creamier. But as it is in the can, it's not thin. It's a lot bolder than you would expect. And it carries those flavours. Loads of porridge in there. Maybe a hint of like a, a barley, like, you know, really nice savoury barley soup mix, almost. Like where you get lentils and the, the peas and that sort of thing. But there's this lovely cakey sweetness in there as well just playing about and like sort of centering the beer lovely earthiness not as smoky um as you get on the, the well mind you know it wasn't even really that smoky I'm, I'm talking absolute nonsense already aren't i yeah it's just so drinkable good save Pete. good save Making references like that isn't good unless you're doing like jump cuts to it, but I don't want to do that with these videos. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this. It's not blowing me away or anything like that, but I don't think this style should really be one of those sorts of beers. It should just be perfect Friday afternoon. You know, you may be watching like Sky Sports News on the telly. You're waiting to play snooker, you put your 50p on the table. Uh, to kill time, you hit up the uh, the bandits. And you just got a beer just to casually sit back in, your mates come in, or family members, or whatever. Bit of a talk, you get a couple more. Next thing you know, you're six pints down. Your mates are a little bit leery, because they've been on the European pale lagers. <coughs> and you're feeling um, not as merry. But a little bit more full because you've had a nice bold dark mild that's one of those sorts of beers and like you know you you stumble home you get yourself a chippy and you find you've got a four pack of milds in the fridge you polish those off with your fish and chips it's one of those beers ladies and gentlemen and you could probably do a really nice um stew with this or a casserole because it's all that that perfect level of sweetness savory character oatiness boldness yeah I, I really really like it but the great thing about it is it's just so simple and uh, thirst quenching which you know, dark beers don't really tend to be that they'll be maybe a little bit more rich and bold and that sort of thing and you, you know you feel it after a few but uh, the body's just right on this and it's amazing how it can carry those flavors being at 3.2% I think this was from, um, uh, got picked up a four pack um, from Home and Bargains. So I'd imagine it's three to four quid around that. Could be cheaper actually. Um, and for the, for the price anyway, for a four pack of 440 cans, you know, you get yourself an eight, eight, eighter. Eighter, is that even a term? And you've got yourself perfect beer for the evening. But yeah, look at that. It, it, it sort of looks creamy, doesn't it, when you've got that head on there? Almost like uh, like the consistency of milk, almost. Yeah, it's, it's just lovely. It really, really is. So in terms of a rating, then, on Hoitz's 
champion dark mild. I'm going to give that a very solid 9 out of 10. Uh, if it had maybe a tad bit more body, a little bit more creamy, milky in its uh, body. Milky in its body. Terrible images. Ugh. Uh, that it would probably get that, you know, for my personal preference and enjoyment, a perfect 10. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's my, yeah, the, the most brilliantly crafted beer in the world when you give beers like that 10 out of 10. You know, a 10 out of 10 one day could be a 6 out of 10 the next day, depending on your mood or whatever. But this, I would happily go for this again. And um, yeah, if you've tried this one, uh, then let me know your thoughts, opinions. So what's up your favourite miles? Give me some recommendations of breweries, uh, doesn't matter if it's macro, micro, I think with the macro companies they do a really good job with this beer because uh, they don't really have to have that too much of an expense with hops I'd imagine, it's all about that, that grain build more than anything else. Just putting it out there, my thoughts and opinions, I could be completely missing the mark there as I uh, usually do. But I don't make wild claims do I? and uh, tell people who run their breweries to stop running their breweries. But uh, we won't get into that. So yeah, if you tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions, any recommendations of the style from the brewery. Always welcome. And uh, yeah, if any friends and fellow beer tubers have reviewed this one, their links are gonna be down below. So um, I'm gonna go now, listen to some Fallout Boy. Um, because I've got a hoodie t-shirt and a long fringy haircut and I look like a 14 year old uh, maybe listen to some Panic at the Disco as well um, no I, I won't I've, I've actually got more taste than that and uh, yeah check out Fwaits check out my Marl playlist I think I've got a few on the channel and uh, hopefully I'll get quite a few more on the channel because I do really like this style of beer anyway You've been awesome. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for sticking with me till the end of this video. And uh, yeah, more importantly, I hope you'll join me next time for another video. So yeah, that was clumsy. See you later.